Hello everyone. Welcome to Industrial Electronics Lab Number Four, Part Number Two of the experiment. So last in part one we have seen how triple five timer works as a all stable multi vibrator. In today's section we will see how triple five timer can be used as a intruder detector. So we will simulate the circuit in Proteus. So let us begin directly. So over here we have our triple five timer circuit as intruder detector. So there are some changes in the previous circuit, but we can keep the same values of R A and R B and C one as you have took last time. So what we will do is we'll follow adopt a technique. First we will try to simulate this, and then we will explain how the circuit works. Okay. So let me minimize this now, and uh, let me open uh, Proteus. So what you see on your screens right now is what we have done in the last part one video. So if you have, if you want to know how this circuit has been built up, you can refer that video of uh, you know five 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 timer as a stable multi vibrator simulation in Proteus, right? So we have selected triple five timer, capacitor, and resistor. These are the components which we did added. Now additionally, we have to add certain things to make it as a intruder detector, fine? Right? So there are some changes which we have to make. So let's see what are those changes. First of all, pin number four, it's not connected to pin number eight directly, okay, or VCC directly. We have a hundred kilo ohm resistance connected. So let's do that. So over here, I'll break this wire, and now I will select a resistor, and then uh, we can connect this resistor here like this. I mean, sorry, it it has to be a resistor, not a capacitor. So here is my resistor. So I'll rotate it, and I can connect it over here. So that means I have to push this connection slightly up. So let me do that. Yeah. So now I can easily connect a resistor between pin number four and VCC. Fine. And this is of value. Uh, This is we can call it R pull up. Okay, this is R pull up. Let me change the label properly. It will be R P L R pull up. Okay, this is around hundred k. And the next thing is that output. Uh, we have to connect a speaker, of course. And uh, here from the pin up. Pin number four, we have to connect a trip wire. So in our case, we don't have a trip wire, so we will be connecting a switch. Fine. So go to pick components and click on switch. So over here, which switch we will consider? Uh, let's see. So we have over here last momentarily last switch. So let's say we will select the animated switch, right? Okay. So we have to select a trip. I mean, a trip wire in our case, an animated switch. So we'll go to pick devices and type over here, interactive switch. So from here, select this uh, RT switch, interactive. Let's go slightly down. Yeah, your one. Interactive S P S T switch last action. So you select this. Okay, active. Interactive S P S T single pole single throw switch, and click on OK. And uh, this switch we have to add it between pin number four and ground. So let me add it over here, and then let us rotate it clockwise. And let me make the connection from pin number four, and this will go towards the ground. Or we can additionally add a ground over here. Yeah, and this will be connected towards the ground. Fine. So the modifications have been made, and uh, also we will normally close it. Fine. Uh, it should be a normally closed switch initially. After simulation, we can open it. And then we also require a speaker, fine. So again, go to components, pick devices. So you can type SP 
speaker. So you will get an interactive speaker. So you can select this loudspeaker model. Find uh, active one and uh, output via sound card. Yeah, the this one speaker, loudspeaker, and click on OK. Fine. Now speaker, where will you connect? Let me just go to the mode over here. Yeah, let me push it aside. Speaker, I have to connect it to pin number T, right? So I'll add the speaker over here. Fine. So speaker one terminal has been connected to pin number three. So let me connect that to pin number three. And other terminal will go to ground. So let me add the ground terminal here also. And this will go to the ground. So I've connected the speaker output. Fine. Now what will happen is now this is my circuit. These are the modifications. What are the two modifications? First of all, the pin number four, it's not directly connected to VCC. It's connected via a pull up register of 100 kilo ohms to VCC. Secondly, via the pin number four, we have connected an interactive switch, which is acting as a trip wire. Okay. So whenever an intruder trips this wire, it will alarm a sound and the speaker will be, you know, uh, output will be a sound, uh, uh, loudspeaker sound. Okay. So which has been connected and pin number three, we have connected a speaker. Now let me just maximize this part. And uh, yeah, I think everything is set. So let me run this by simulation and show it to you what really happens. So right now, um, yeah, it's working now. Right now, nothing really happens. The circuit operates as, uh, you know, as normal because your reset pin, it's uh, connected to the ground. Right. And uh, if reset pin is connected to the ground, your output of your uh, means reset pin is active. That means your output will be zero. So your speaker will not be, you know, out. Your speaker will be off. Now, as soon as I turn it on, you will hear a high pitch voice indicating a loudspeaker sound that the intruder, as soon as the intruder comes and trip this wire, right? This wire will be laid on the ground, copper wire. And whenever an intruder trips this wire, you will hear this high pitch sound. Okay, just wait a second. Okay, fine. Uh, let me just wait a second. Okay, what was really happening was key. I haven't changed the values over here. Uh, let me just make it off now first. The switch will be off. I've kept the same values while I was checking the LED output. So let me make it by default as 7.2. That's what the values are, right? Uh, 7.2, 3.6 and 0.1 microfarad. Yeah, this is 3.6K and this will be 0.1 microfarad. Now let me turn on the uh, render simulation button. So right now the pin number uh, four, that is reset pin is connected to the ground via this, uh, you know, uh, the, the trip wire, the trip wire is intact now. Okay. As soon as the intruder comes and kicks this wire, see what will happen. So you will hear a high pitch sound, correct? Indicating that the intruder has come. Understanding, I repeat, whenever this, uh, let me close this again. This is acting as a trip wire, right? So whenever this in, this trip wire will be placed on the ground and that will be connected to pin number four. So pin number four, it's connected to the ground means what? Reset pin is active. And reset is active, it will reset the output. So output will be zero. So zero output cannot drive a speaker. Now, when I turn this on, your reset pin is connected to VDD. That means in is, in, it's inactive. So your uh, normal output of your uh, you know, uh, a stable multi vibrator will be that means it will form, it will give you the pulses, right? Do you want to see that also? Yeah, we can show that. So we can take an oscilloscope and uh, we can uh, see that on the oscilloscope also. So we can connect pin number three to the oscilloscope panel number A. Simultaneously, we can view what is really happening. So let me simulate now. Currently, it is nothing. 
Anal number A, it's not showing anything. No pulse at all. Let me uh, push the other pulses away because we are only using the channel number uh, A now, right now, currently with this yellow color. So let me put it in the spotlight. Yeah. So right now, what is happening is your uh, reset pin is connected to the ground. So reset pin is active and my output of uh, your timer is zero. So let's me simulate play and um, turn on the, I mean, the trip wire. As you can see, we get the pulses over here. It will indicate that there is an intruder. And so normal or stable multi vibrator is low. Yeah. So this way, what you can do is you can take one reading when the switch is off. I mean, one, uh, uh, one print screen. So you can take the print screen of the circuit and then attach it in your write up already for, for part number B. No reading has to be taken over here. Okay. So you can attach the print screen of your uh, circuit diagram. Then what you can do is you can turn this off. Okay. And then attach this one. So this one means that the speaker is off and the output voltage is zero. So this you can take it and describe it in the, uh, you know, in your this thing that uh, in your write up that oh right now the the switch is at uh, you know ground position or what you can do is instead of taking this we can take this one we can place it over here maybe so right now the switch is connected to the ground that means reset pin is connected to the ground and on the output of the CRO you are getting zero neither this uh, speaker has been driven by it so now you can take a print screen and add it. And one print screen you can, one more you can take it is, uh, you know, opening the switch here. Okay. Whenever the reset pin is open, the reset pin is, uh, the switch is open, the reset pin is connected to VDD. Uh, so reset is inactive. That means your normal or stable operation will uh, take place and you will get a pulse a rectangular pulse like waveform, which is driving the speaker. Okay, it's going from zero to five, which is driving the speaker. So yeah, that's about it. So let me delete this and show it to you the... So whenever the intruder trips the wire, you get this speaker or speaker out as the sound, indicating that there is an intruder. Now let me explain this one by one. How does it work? So let me keep the socket here only and try to explain. So let me go to view, go to zoom area. I'll explain it from the Proteus circuit itself. Okay, fine. So let us begin. So what really happens over here is these are the sequence of events which are unfolding while, you know, this, uh, triple five timer is working as an intruder detector. So what's really happening is uh, triple five timer is in unstable mode, okay? And pin number four of the IC is active four, active low reset pin. Your pin number four is active low pin. That means what, when a low signal has been applied to pin number four, your reset pin is inactive. Reset pin is active and it will deactivate the output of the timer irrespective of whatever it is. Now, whenever it is deactivated, it will not drive the speaker. So speaker will not be on. Now, when the reset pin is connected to logic one, right, or VDD, the output of the timer will become active. Now, what do you mean by active? It generates a rectangular pulses in the unstable mode. I mean, right, right now it was doing that, right? And in our circuit, fourth pin is connected to the ground wire switch, as you can see. Your pin number four is connected to ground via this interactive switch. So in reality, your reset pin can be connected to ground using a thin strand of copper wire, which can be used as a trip wire. So let's say uh, if you want to, you know, not allow the intruder to enter a room. So near the edge of the door, you can keep a stick stand of copper wire and that copper wire you connected to pin number four, right? So whenever your uh, you know trip wire is intact and not broken, that means this switch is closed. So during that time, what will happen? 
whenever the switch is closed. So whenever the trip wire is intact and no one has entered the room, right? No intruder has entered. Your reset pin will be in low state, and therefore it will inactivate the output. The output will be output of the timer will be zero or inactive. Fine. Now, when an intruder is entering a house, when an intruder enters a house, it breaks the trip wire, right? And as soon as it breaks the trip wire, uh, it's indicating by opening the switch. Okay, let me open that, right? So whenever the uh, intruder trips on this wire, it will break this trip wire. So now what will happen is there is open circuit over here. So your output wind is pulled up towards the VDD via this pull up register, fine? And immediately your uh, you know your reset pin is high, and your output will be resuming its normal operation, right? So immediately output will go into the active mode and it will start delivering the pulses again. So as a result, a triple five timer will produce your pulse signal in its output. This will drive the speaker and uh, uh, which will warn the house members by sound about the intruder. So that is what we were exactly doing. So see over here, okay. Yeah, so the wire is created by the sound. Getting an output from the speaker. So that's how your uh, triple five timer in unstable mode works as an intruder detector. Okay. If you have any doubts, you can post in the comment section. And uh, you you don't have to take any reading for this, but yeah, two print screens you have to take. One with uh, this uh, you know trip wire uh, uh, broken, that is the switch is open, and one with this trip wire intact, with the switch is closed. Fine. So that will be it for uh, triple five timer in unstable mode acting as a intruder detector. So you can build a simple circuit around triple five timer. So that is all for this section. Next time we will start with a new experiment. Until then, have a good day and thank you.